Now, these, these documents were written, these were agreed upon by countries of the world with an anticipation of what's going to happen in the future. We are the future, and we're going to create the rest of it, a foundation, the next stage of the foundation of this declaration right here in Occupy Ashland and in Occupy all over the country and in Occupy all over the world that we're connected to. And it says right here that we are going to not, we're now taking the recourse, we're now rebelling. We're in a state of almost huge revolution here, and we have a right to do that. It says it right here in this document, if in fact we are not given our human rights. And it says right here in the preamble, in the charter, that the founders had faith in the fundamental human rights and the dignity and worth of all human beings. Are we respecting that all over the world? <laughs> no way. No, and this has to be part of our plan, not just in Ashland, where we have to take care of our homeless, the sick, the poor. We must do that, and we are. We're doing very well in Ashland, but not good, not well enough. We have much more to do, and we need better standards. It says it right here for social programs, for everything that will allow us to be really free. Are we really free? No. No, we're not. We live under a canopy of lies behind a veil of secrecy, and that's lifting now, thanks to the Occupy people all over the world. And I have to tell you, I was very hesitant to come here. If it hadn't been for John Stern, I don't think I would have. And when I heard Amnesty would be here and all the people from Occupy that came, I was really hesitant to come. I have this thing in me that says protests are not going to do any good and petitions are not going to do any good. It's not gonna cause second order change, real change. But you know what? It is. It really is. We are going to walk into the offices. We're gonna walk into the corporations. We actually have to bring those people here too. We need to bring them into our meetings because they need to know that it's our right to talk with them and express ourselves, to have our opinions to have our belief systems. It says it all right here, even in the preamble of this whole document here. And this is a common understanding and a common language that we have now. It says it right in the Declaration of Human Rights, that we now all over the world have a chance to express ourselves and our opinions in a common language. And the language is that of peace, freedom, and justice, of a new economic system of a new industry system. We have stores closing down across our city of Ashland. We have people going out of business that have been in business across the street here for 21 years in the American Indian store. We have forgotten about the indigenous people, let alone the cosmos people. This is a time for us to recognize all of us, every single one of us, and to hug each other and to come at it with a state of love, but with also a state of intelligence and intuition. This is something that is a combination of how we can approach now all of the laws and treaties. Do you know that the treaties of the world are based on the Declaration of Human Rights? There are a lot of treaties for the Declaration of Human Rights, for all kinds of rights. I started writing down, and I won't have time to go into it, all the issues, and I put them in alphabetical order, that we're all concerned about with, I'll just give you an idea. Animals, the rights of animals, housing for the homeless, children, civilian and political rights, the climate control, cultural issues, democracy, detention, development and consciousness, disabilities, people with disabilities, people who are disappearing, people who are dealing with the economic, social, and cultural issues, education, environment, ex executions, food, freedom of opinions and expression, peace by association, we can associate with anyone we want to, religious beliefs, get the facts. This, by the way, is implied in this Declaration of Human Rights, all of this. Globalization, you know they've stolen some of the language from us with intention. We have people now protesting they don't want a new world order. We do want a new world order. <laughs> <laughs> we have people saying, well, it's just collater collateral damage. These are deaths and murders that we have legalized. We have children going to war, putting on uniforms, committing suicide missions. That's what it is. It's not suicide missions coming here. Our kids are going there, too. It's suicide, and then they come back in body bags or in their uniforms and their heroes. Poor things. 
we need to educate about our human rights they have these rights we have to deal with health health issues all kinds of health issues human rights we have the independence of each other and of our communities and of indicate if communities around the world need to be allowed to be independent and have the cultures that they have we have to respect the indigenous we have to respect the displaced people and give them homes Gary Davis formed the world government of world citizens the whole oh, world government well what if we all got in the positions of the world government and we create the world government that takes care of all of these issues and we all get world passports by the way you can sign up for them over there we have to take care of the elderly and the children we have to do take care of all the people that are poor we have to stop this racism we have to live by the rules of laws of universal laws and principles of nature we have to live in harmony with nature and deal with all situations including slavery we have to deal with terrorism torture trafficking we have to deal with the water situation and organic food all over the world the women's issues well this these lists go on and on and you know what the issues are this treat this declaration is an inspiration for all of us. Reread it. Reread it on the day when it's being read like we're reading it here today all over the world. Reread it in the energy of the people all over the world that are suffering, where the children are suffering, where people are going into their homes, where they can come into our homes like they did in my home. Don't let that happen to people. Stop this. Create the new reality. Come up with your visions. Get your children to create the visions that are based on the declaration, the universal declaration of human rights. We have a chance to create a reality. And if every single person here calls up a world leader, a national leader, anybody, and says, do not put those weapons in space, it's the one thing that we have a chance now to stop. Tell them to go to peaceinspace.com and look at that treaty and look who wrote it. Look at their biographies. They're all on there. These courageous men allowed their biographies and photos to be on that website. These are the creative people. These are the, the people who have courage like all of you do for going out and doing what you're doing and standing in the street so everybody can hear you and see you when they go by. This is an energy grid that we're in. It's a new energy. It's raising the consciousness. It's in a frequency that's higher and different from the old paradigm way of thinking and that old consciousness that got us into this mess that we're in. Protect each other, love each other, walk around with that love in your heart, but do it intelligently so you don't get fooled anymore by the lies, by the corruption, by the hate and the greed. No more. And that's why we're doing this Occupy movement all over the world and why we're doing it here in Ashland and why Amnesty is here present with us and why we've got dignitaries here present with us and they're all over the world. We are connected in a grid, in a frequency that's different. And I bless you all for it. And I share as much love as I can with you. Protect each other because we need that kind of protection. It says in the human rights document here, we need to protect each other and our rights as world citizens, as well as citizens of our city, of our countries, man-made boundaries and geographical boundaries of the world and of the universe. We need to protect each other with that high energy, high frequency of peace on Earth and peace in space above all of our heads that we're all going to work for. Thank you so much for inviting me here and giving me my first chance in the occupied world.